You told People Magazine that you had been pretty much sober for the last two and a half years. Correct. What do you mean by pretty much? Well, I'd fallen off what you, two and what, a half years ago. What I, gets you when you fall off? What's your, is it whiskey? Is it beer? Is it, what gets you when you fall off? Oh, I don't drink hard alcohol. I won't do that. You drink wine, beer? Yeah, or beer or wine, yeah. Do you binge or you just? I binge two, three days and then stop. And then I go back to AA. How bad do you feel after a binge? Terrible. Headwise, are you fuzzy? Oh God, yeah. You don't get really clear for the first, I don't know, few months. It takes longer when you've got dementia, right? I mean, oh, it's, God, yeah. it's harder to... It's like having a tire fire in your brain. Yeah. So you were not drunk at the Agora Hills performance? I was not at all. No drugs, no alcohol? I've never taken illegal drugs. Yeah. The alcohol toxicity can be one of the key contributors to dementia. I believe that. Genetics uh, is a contributor. Uh, what we ingest... If you pour alcohol on top of dementia, you can really have a problem. So I'm glad to hear. It's been two years? It's two years, yeah. Part of the reason that I fell off the first time was that I got the diagnosis. Yeah. And having lived with my mother for all those years and watching her disappear, the depression and the loss. My alcoholism that developed somewhere around the late 90s, where I was working 10 shows a week. And my marriage was very unhappy. And I was on such an insane work schedule that I put so much pressure on it because I took care of everybody. My mom died basically an hour before Christmas Eve. That's when I started really drinking heavily. When she was in her last days, I would come to the hospital. I couldn't come unless I was completely intoxicated. Yeah. It was too painful for me.